Welcome to the DIY SMU Skippy interface. Skippy is an important capability for instruments since it allows any instrument to be controlled remotely. Skippy stands for Standard Commands for Programmable Instruments and it's maintained by the Ivy Foundation and it's supported by the Visa uh, libraries and Visa software. Since 1990, Skippy is the communication standard for test and measurement instruments. It's supported by all the major manufacturers of instruments. It uses a simple ASCII command set that's fairly easy to implement and learn. And it operates over any hardware interface, GPIB, serial, USB, Ethernet. Skippy is supported by the National Instruments and Agilent slash Keysight Visa layers with the programming wrappers in most languages, C, C Sharp, Python, LabVIEW, MATLAB. Skippy parser device libraries are available for Arduino, making it easy to implement Skippy devices using the Arduino uh, platform. The DIY SMU uses the vRecler Skippy parser library. It's available at this website. And that library provides a simple and powerful way to control any instrument. For those of you who aren't too familiar with Skippy, I'll go over some of the basic commands provided by Skippy. The basic Skippy commands are star rst, star idn, those are two of the common commands. A star rst is used to reset an instrument into a known and safe state. Star idn question mark is used to identify the instrument, its model number, any options, and, and any revisions. The skippy commands are hierarchical. For example, here's the commands to set a voltage range to a value or to set the source voltage directly to a value. Notice they both use the same uh, root commands. Commands support shortcuts and any case, either upper or lower. These are all okay. So the full word source voltage in lower case is fine, upper case. Uh, the command sour or soar colon volt is uh, acceptable and those can be upper or lower case. Commands also support flexible numeric formats. These are all okay. So I can say SOAR volt 3 to set the voltage to 3. Or I can say SOAR volt 3.14159. Or I can say SOAR volt to uh, pi millivolts if that's what I want. So there are three uh, Arduino libraries that support it. One of them I couldn't, I couldn't quite get working. Two of them I got working quite well. And I ended up with the VRECRER, V R E K R E R library. Uh, I like it a lot. It's quite, it's quite simple. You can see it over there on the left side of the screen. Uh, it's very easy to set up a command tree, and then there's a callback for each function, and then you just fill in the callbacks. There, there it is. Your instrument is communicating over Skippy and and being controlled by Skippy. The library that I used, the, the two libraries I used, both have a simple Arduino examples that allow you to control the I.O. So for example, I can set the digital pins and I can read the digital pins. But I can also uh, read the A to D converter on the, uh, on the Arduino. So that allows you to very quickly run the examples try some Skippy commands and, uh, and prove that the library is working and that it's communicating to a real instrument. And that works with pretty much any uh, Arduino board. I first got it going on, the, uh, on my Leonardo uh, LeoLED project and then I quickly ported it to the uh, Teensy processor that I'm using on the SMU. So the first thing I did was, after I got the examples running, was to build my first instrument. I have several old uh, test equipment projects that I've been working on over the years and each one of them could benefit from a uh, from a proper uh, Skippy interface. So uh, the, one of the first things I did was I ported Skippy to the 18-bit uh, DAC project and uh, 18-bit DAC project is on my web my web page I'll make a link to it. That was a nice simple project because all it does is put out a precision voltage and you just send a command that says source voltage and a value, and presto, it does it. So it took very few commands to get that 
get that working. And it, was, it added a lot of uh, capability to the to the project. Once I had the 18-bit DAC project working, I built up confidence to uh, move the library onto my uh, SMU project and to get all the different commands necessary for the SMU uh, working. This is a demo of the Skippy interface over USB uh, controlling the DIY SMU1. And I'll also be demonstrating some of the code that it takes to execute the, the Skippy command. So um, as you can see on the left, I'm using the vrecker, V-R-E-K-R-E-R, -E -E -R, Skippy parser, which I've been very happy with. The first uh, function that's used is called init Skippy, and that's called by the uh, application. And what it does is it sets up all the objects for all the Skippy commands. It also sets up all the callbacks for the Skippy commands. So if you look down the table, you'll see it's organized a little bit hierarchical. Um, the first command is IDN, question mark, which is the Skippy identify, identify yourself command. Second command is RST, which is used to reset the instrument. Then the next, notice there's a command tree base. And so the, the set command tree base uh, functions uh, create the uh, initial Skippy uh, command tree base. Measure and then current and voltage are commands that are a function of that command tree base. So for example, if I want to do a measure current, I would say measure or MEAS and colon current with a question mark. And that will get and the, the value returned would be the, uh, the, the uh, current it measure voltage, same thing, voltage question mark. The next uh, command tree base is source, and those are uh, setting up uh, source voltages, source current, uh, and also source voltage range and source current range. So the ranging, the current range and voltage range are set by these commands. There's another one called source voltage question mark, and that's that's just a readback of the uh, of the voltage that the current that the instrument is set to. Next command base is out or output, and that's used for turning the instrument on and off and for setting the remote sense. Next one is function, and that sets the overall instrument function. Volt sets it to an, into force voltage mode, and cur sets it into force current mode. And the last command base is for calibrate, and those are some of the calibration functions, and I'll talk a little bit about those at the end. Let's do a demo here. So if I go over to the if I go over to the command So this is this is only the uh, this is this is simply the uh, serial port, uh, which is USB on a on a Teensy. So I can type commands and the uh, Skippy commands and they get executed. So we'll start with the identify command. So star IDN question mark. So star IDN uh, returns the instrument identification. So it's telling you it's made by in Ericsson Engineering that the model number is a DIY SMU1, that it's uh, op, uh, option uh, 01, and the, so and the uh, firmware version is 1.0. So if I look down in the code at the bottom of the page, notice there's the callback for identify. So yeah, IDN makes a call to the identify callback. Identify callback uh, interface tells me that uh, across the whatever interface this Skippy is using, uh, execute a print line and just print the uh, print the uh, string, which has all the uh, identification information in it. And that's a that's a nice simple command. So RST. I'll scroll down to the to the next command. So if I type, notice right now the instrument is outputting 82 volts. Uh, it's on 150 volt range and it's 10 microamps. You can see on the display. Uh, on the 10 microamp range. So if I type an RST, so RST, oops, sorry, star RST, it resets the instrument, it shut off the output, sets it to zero volts, uh, and sets it to a safe uh, 
voltage and current range. So now the instrument is in a, in a known state and it's safe. So by safe, I mean not the 150 volt range and not the maximum current. Uh, one milliamp is a good, good nominal uh, current range for doing, for setting up the, or setting up the instrument and using it. And 15 volts is a good nominal range, nominal voltage range. So if I, if I now want to uh, control the instrument, uh, the first thing I probably need to do is turn the output on, since I just turned the output off by the reset function. So if I say uh, out uh, state to on, see that uh, you can see on the uh, on the display that the uh, output and unto it on the output display is on. And now the output is outputting a, a zero volts. If I want to output a different voltage, I can say I'm on a 15 volt range. So let's say source volt to 12.3. Uh, and now the instrument is set to 12.3 volts. And you can see up on the voltmeter that it's outputting 12.3. And the voltage measure is reading 12.3. Everybody, everybody agrees. Yay. Um, and if I want to read that voltage back, I can say uh, I can say measure volt question mark, and it shows you that it's reading 12.301 uh, uh, millivolts to uh, to roughly. Uh, it sh shows you a, a large excess of decimal locations, but the the 12.301 shows you that it's roughly one millivolt off. From the uh, from the setting that I asked for, and let's see, uh, measure the current. It's showing me that it's drawing about let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, one point two three microamps, which is typically what you would expect on the instrument because uh, the load is the 10 mega ohm input impedance of my voltmeter. So 12.3 volts across 10 mega ohms is about 1.23 microamps. And if I want to look at that with more uh, resolution, I can turn the uh, turn the range up. So let's see. Command for that is uh, source current range. So source current. Range and I'll set it to the uh, 0 0.001. That would be one milli, the one milliamp range. So let's get 10 times more. So set it to the 10, um, sorry, 100 microamp range. And it's notice it's reading 1.24 uh, uh, microamps. So it's reading reading the uh, the 10 mega ohm input impedance of the uh, of the instrument. And if I unplug that, the current should drop to roughly zero. Eh, not quite, but pretty close. So let's talk about the uh, calibration commands a little bit. The Skippy command for calibrate uh, can set a voltage or a current. And uh, what those commands do is those are used to pass a calibration factors into the instrument from the calibration program. So for example, I might, once I set the instrument to a certain range, I'll set the voltage force gain calibration and the voltage offset voltage force offset calibration. And then I'll need to set the voltage measure gain calibration and the voltage measure offset. And that's for each range of the instrument. So that's what those functions are there. And they're, right now I'm just testing them. I haven't, um, ultimately I'll need a, another function for taking those factors and sending them to, to the EEPROM for permanent storage. And I don't have that currently uh, operating yet. The calibrate state function turns the calibration factors on and off. So when you're when you in order to do a calibration you have to turn the current uh, calibration factors off and then perform the calibration, load the values and then turn the uh, state turn the calibration state back on. So that's just a convenient way for the uh, for the calibration program to be able to Enable or disable the calibration. 
So I'd like to describe how the parameters of the callbacks work. So each, if you notice, uh, under identify, there's three parameters. There's commands, parameters, and interface. So interface is simply the uh, current interface that the Skippy is using. So in other words, the serial serial command. So this, this notice this looks familiar if you're Arduino uh, person. It says interface.println instead of serial.println. And, but it acts exactly the same way, and all it does is sends a uh, uh, sends an ASCII string uh, with a carriage return to the current Skippy interface, which is the which is the which is set up to be the serial port. The other parameters, commands and parameters. Let's see. Let's look at uh, set volt. So set volt does not use commands, but it does use parameters because when you say source voltage. You pass it a parameter telling it what voltage to uh, to set to. Parameters is a list of all the parameters that you send, and they're all separated by spaces, so you can send any number of parameters you want. Uh, parameter dot size uh, tells you how many parameters you sent, as long as it's greater than zero. Uh, the first, so for in other words, you can send it three parameters, but it's uh, this software is just going to uh, interpret the first one and ignore the rest. It sets the uh, the voltage to the number received in parameter zero, which is the first parameter, and it converts it to a uh, from a string to a floating point number. I constrain it to plus or minus 150 because that's the maximum that the instrument will handle. However, there's additional constraints within the set force function that constrain the value to whatever the current range is. So if I set it to a so if I set it to 100 volts, but it's in the 15 volt range. A set force will limit that to uh, to plus 15 volts, and then this third line down in the if statement set val d force blah blah that sets the data structure value to allow me to set the the force value. And I've said it already. Uh, I've been pretty pretty happy with this library. Highly recommend adding Skippy to any uh, Arduino project that you uh, are building. Any Arduino Arduino-based instrument or a power supply or electronic load or anything, whatever you're building, uh, this gives you a, a nice way to uh, to control it. This has been Chapter 4 for the DIY SMU. We discussed the Skippy interface, general Skippy knowledge, a demo of the capabilities of the Skippy, and how to implement Skippy on uh, an Arduino project. Chapter 5 should be on Python programming for controlling, testing, and calibrating. SMU. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe if you'd like to subscribe as well. Thanks.